right, so it's quarter to 10, another late start, but you know what? I met a good group at the shelter and we had some good conversations and laughs this morning. So I really don't mind getting a late start when it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, gut hooks is acting up on me. So I think I have to get into service for it to do its thing to maybe do an update because it's not working under the gps it's not bringing up my maps or anything so hopefully i won't get lost today <laughs> should be easy i'm not night hiking i'm just going off what i think i remember yesterday uh, i do believe i'm like nine or ten miles from troutdale and i'm not too sure about the elevation changes so i definitely don't know what to really expect today I don't think it's too bad. I think it's probably mostly downhill, if I remember correctly from yesterday. But, I'm, you know, there's always a climb in there, and I always like to find out how big the climb is. Whatever. It's all good. It is what it is. I'm hoping to make a push towards Marion, but if my feet start acting up or my body just doesn't want to go again, I'll stop at Troutdale. I really want to get back up to 15 mile days, hopefully closer to 20 eventually, but my body's just not agreeing with me. Yesterday I think it was the close, the day before that was just early back on trail after a lot of days off, so we'll see, we'll see, hoping to get back into the groove. I really, really want to do a 20 mile day, that's my goal. So I have another gear failure going on. Over the last few nights, I've been having to get up to a deflated mattress, pump some more air into it, and get a few more hours of sleep. Well, last night, it decided to get a little worse, and I ended up getting up twice. So, I'm gonna see if I can find a patch kit. So the closest spot I'll be able to find one would be Marion Walmart. So hopefully I can find what I need there because I really can't afford another mattress at this point. Also, when I was coming up out of Damascus, I found a decent looking rain jacket. So I might get rid of my frog togs, pants and jacket and then rock this little tiny compactable jacket because I barely wear the pants anyway. You know, I got some quick, quick dry shorts and they do the job pretty good. It's no big deal. So on a side note, this morning I got my official Appalachian Trail name. I am now Blazer. This dude forgot my name, called me that. I decided I loved it, <laughs> and it is what it is. All those people that told me Virginia got a little easier, a little more flat, oh, they were pulling my leg. Virginia is kicking my butt. So I'm pushing the Trimpy today. It'll be a 10 mile day tomorrow to the, oh man, how did I forget the name of it? It's got a shower and it serves pizza, plus the shuttle. 50 cent shuttle to Marion, Virginia. And the name of the shelter is not coming to me. Man, I've been thinking about this shelter for like 100 miles. Can't believe I forgot the name. Anyway, that's the plan. Nice little 10 mile day tomorrow. 
and then Walmart the day after. And I am going to feel overwhelmed, you know, with all those resupplies in Walmart. And I can only pack out so little. Choices, choices, choices. My fire has been refueled. I am hauling down the trail. See that word free? Huh. Yeah. Right after that, the word pizza. Huh. Huh. I don't even care if I get tired. I don't even care if my feet are gonna fail. Free pizza. Yeah. Woo. If you've seen that sign, you'd be hiking faster too. Can I come through here or what? Ugh. Is it cool if I come through here? How you doing, bud? It's 7.15 and there's no number for a shuttle. It's saying that it's only eight tenths of a mile. I'm thinking about just walking it. I might look it up for a number if I have service. I don't know. Uh. So over the last few days, I've given some thought to a situation and I was going to just explain it to you. But instead, I think what I want to do is give a key word or a key phrase Poop and logs already been used, so let me go ahead and use no excuses. Basically, later in my journey, I'm going to talk about the situation that I'm going through now, and hopefully, I can inspire a few people for how I'm handling it. 725 this point eight is brutal man I'm starting to go into panic mode because my feet are really starting to get sore and I just don't see anything on this road uh, if it's not around this next turn I'm gonna camp on the side of the road man I had enough Yeah, we didn't show you. Yeah, you should be the fourth from the fourth. Yeah, 